about electricity and how everything works. So the AES Corporation in Arlington came here today. They reached out to Arlington Public Schools to show what they do in terms of electricity generation and distribution. And it's fabulous for the fourth and fifth graders especially at APS because they study electricity, but it's such a concept that is difficult to grasp if you can see how to crank a generator and make that light light up. Well, you've learned so much more. You gotta spin it a lot harder to get this bulb to light, don't you? So it takes a lot more effort to light the incandescent bulb than it does to light the LED bulb. We don't have a power facility here in this area that we can teach folks about, but we do have and get the opportunity to come into the schools and let them know about what we do, the importance of power, different ways to, to generate it, and we want to feel like we're part of the community here. Probably when you look at the picture, you think the electricity generation is coming from here where you see all the water coming down and splashing, but that's not actually where the power generation happens. It happens over here on the side in what's called the powerhouse. I think it is important to learn about electricity because first thing, it could be one of the jobs that you could get. Second thing about it is it's very helpful to know who is taking care of your home, how they are doing it, how you get your electricity, and what things make your electricity. But where does electricity come from? Anybody know where electricity comes from? I think it's important for, for companies like ours to get out and, and, uh, and discuss with, the, with our youth the importance of electricity, how it's produced, and how we can minimize its usage, right? So basically preserve our resources and uh, minimize the impacts that we have uh, on our environment. Can you feel how much work you gotta put in that to light that light bulb? Yeah, okay. Now we'll try, this is the fluorescent. Remember, this is about 75% efficient. Solar, Yeah, a lot easier, right? And you get the same amount of light. Right, it's brighter. Wastes a lot of electricity, right? Which ultimately wastes energy. And we're, we want to be more efficient. We want to use our resources as as efficiently as possible. So we don't want to we don't want to run out. So if we minimize the the, the uh, amount of energy that we need, we'll produce less pollution as well. So we can save our resources and we can pollute the, the environment less. So this one's the, the best for the environment. This is the best for the environment. I learned that the more watts a light bulb needs, the harder it is to run it. So this is a great experience for the kids. They're always looking for hands-on opportunities and we don't often get enough hands-on opportunities in science. So having programs like, like this coming into the school does wonders for these kids, gets them interested in science, thinking about careers in the future. It's a wonderful program. I learned that um, electricity is made in many different ways, sometimes by windmills, sometimes by waterfalls, depending on the environment around the place. And you can use batteries to power things and motors, because if we use too many resources from the earth, then um, soon we won't have any resources to um, provide for our needs and to make more electricity. So it'll be like the ancient times where they didn't have any electricity. I think it's important for everyday life because without electricity, like everything would be dark.